second major employer announced plans to shut down shop in the Kansas City area. First, Harley Davidson, and today, Procter and Gamble said that its plant in KCK will close in 2020 as the company transfers production to a plant in West Virginia. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan learned how many employees this will affect. Charlie. Cynthia, we're talking about 280 full-time employees here at the Procter & Gamble plant with an additional 350 contract employees, bringing that total to 630 people who will be looking for a new job or transferring with P&G come mid-2020. Now, the plant manager here held a company-wide, facility-wide meeting at 8 o'clock this morning where he broke the news to everyone. So why is P&G shutting down the shop? Well, it's transferring everything to that new facility in West Virginia. In a statement, Procter & Gamble said that its corporate strategy to improve and grow its uh, distribution network involves closing this plant. Now, Procter & Gamble has had this plant in KCK for 110 years, a little longer than that, actually. Employees here make dish soap. We spoke to one woman as she left the building this morning. She did not want to be identified, didn't want to show her face, but she was wearing a jacket with the logo of the union that represents so many of the workers here. So many of those people now really facing the reality at this, that this announcement means more than just losing a job. Not really a good option um, for me, actually, because I need the insurance. You know, I'm on dialysis and, you know, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Well, Procter & Gamble told us that it is offering the opportunity to transfer to other P&G locations. And the corporate uh, spokesperson said that this decision to close the plant here behind me in KCK was not an easy decision. Ahead at 1130, we'll give you some insight into how the plant manager broke the news, what he told those hundreds of employees during that morning meeting today. For now, in KCK, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.